All right. Well, we are all about organization this week here on Channel 3. And with spring cleaning on many of our minds, we're going to be sharing some ways that you can make your spaces more functional, starting with one of those areas that we all struggle with, which is the clothing clutter. Oh, my goodness. So our own Sarah Sheckman decided it was time to do a closet cleanse <laughs> and brought our cameras along for the ride. Check this out. Finally, it's spring in Cleveland, the season to get organized. Thanks to Marie Kondo. I'm Maria Kondo. This spring, tidying up is more top of mind than ever. And with my own closet packed full of clothes, I called in the pros. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you, girl? Hallie and Alana from the wardrobe consultant are going to show me how to do a proper closet cleanse. I have space issues. Small closet, <laughs> lots of stuff. The first step in their method, set aside a few hours and then take everything out of your closet, all of it. Skirts, pants, the jerseys, the of jersey. course. The next step, decide what stays and what goes. And we brought everything down and set it out. What do we do now? It gives us a chance to go through and really establish sort of what you have, what colors there are, see if things are stained, see if they're worn out. As you work, think about creating four distinct piles, one to donate. There are some pieces that I can look at and just by looking say, eh, maybe we should get rid of. I lived a good life. We can say goodbye. All right, <laughs> goodbye. One to consign or resell. I mean, I know it was a nice piece when I bought it, but I, I don't know when the last time I wore it was. Another pile that needs fixed or altered. Alana oh, has yeah. eagle eyes. Um, a there's a little stain, stain on it. On it. Okay. So I would say, let's see if you can get the stain out. And of course, the items you'll keep. Unlike Marie Kondo's theory on saving only the things that spark joy, Hallie and Alana say everyone needs those somewhat boring basics too. Don't kill me Marie Kondo. There are things that might not spark joy but could be very useful in making the pieces that do spark joy truly joyful. And they say it's okay to hang on to sentimental items. And this sweater in particular, my grandmother bought it for me. I've always felt attached to it, even though I very rarely, I don't even know when the last time I wore it was. Things that are sentimental, we wanna hold on to, but they don't need to take up precious real estate in your closet. If you know you're not gonna wear it, let's store it. And that's one of the things I like people to do. It's sort of like a good stepping stone. When in doubt, try it on for a friend, not afraid to be honest. Do you mind, can we just take this yes. off and, flip and put this guy on? Okay. This looks great. Picture. And for the looks you love, snap a pic to remember those A-plus outfits in the future. All right, that's picture worthy. Okay. That's cute. Then it's time for the keepers to go back, and Alana has perfected how to organize them. So I organize everything by category, by sleeve length, short to long, and then also by color. I've got all of my piles. I will try so hard to keep it organized and make you proud. Oh, you always <laughs> make us proud. This was really fun, thank you. All right, so if you're interested in tackling your own closet cleanse, Hallie and Alana have been nice enough to make a free downloadable guide for you. You can go to WKYC.com for more information on how, how to find it. When they said you can keep sentimental items, yes, we all course. breathe a sigh of relief because there's some stuff that I don't wear anymore. But I'm like, oh, but oh, I wore yes. this like and 10 years ago. And Sarah and, for, you know, mm -hmm. putting yeah. it all out there. And right. It's not just girl. for women either. I no, mean, guys you said as you well. did this I just did recently. it. I mean, things can just add up. Mm -hmm. and it I do agree that getting it all out of there and it's probably the way to go. Yeah. yeah. As much as it overwhelms me, I was getting anxiety watching that, <laughs> but in a good way. 